But first, in Grimsby, there's a house for rent, or there would be if it had been left in a proper condition. A local estate agent has been handed the problem. Meet Harp Chatter. Uh, basically, what we're here to do today is uh, have a look at the property, uh, see what needs uh, doing to actually regenerate it, and uh, get some sort of idea and get on with the job and get the property relet. Oh, that's not a good sign. Using a drill instead of a key. Well, this obviously used to be a family bathroom. Uh, now this is a dumping ground. You've got bin liners, uh, various bottles of old alcohol, uh, nappies. At some stage, I'm sure, it's been used as a squat. OK, this is the second part of the living room. As you can see there, the pipe work's been taken from the gas fire. Harp has seen it all before. You know, in some ways you've become sort of used to it. You know, it's, uh, you know, you're going to rent houses, you know, people uh, wreck them. You know, it's not everybody, but there are certain minorities. I mean, that was somebody's cooker at some stage. It's not my type of pasta, but uh, I'm sure it'll taste nice with a good bottle of red. It's not just the mice that have got at this place. Obviously, the kitchen units have been all torn down. And it seems as if they've not been very choosy about what's been taken. They've taken pretty well everything. Well, the pipe work's gone, and that was obviously where uh, a boiler was. So that is always the, the first port of call for any would-be thief. It's a sad fact that one person's old pipes is someone else's business opportunity. As you can see, as you walk along the landing, obviously, they've taken the pipe work out. Now, that's been cut, obviously, uh, with uh, an instrument that a qualified plumber would use. I mean, so that's not like some, you know, child coming in or an adolescent, a teenager saying, let's get this pipe work and make a quick buck. Somebody's come in, cut the pipe work, and basically they're away. The metal thieves have been at work all over the house. Same again. I mean, as you can see, the pipe work, look at that. It's, uh, nails stuck in the floor. But again, it's all been taken. Not a piece of copper left, actually, in the back bedroom. On the whole, just one big mess. Harp comes to a simple conclusion. Nothing that's been left has any value. We'll have a clearer idea once Daz and his boys get in and rip everything out, because then we have got the empty shell to actually, you know, have a look, ascertain what needs to be done, and then go from there. Back in Grimsby, estate agent Harp has called in the extreme cleaners, Darren, Steve and Sean. Yeah, I wouldn't get much of a bath in there, would you? Absolute state, it stinks as well, all food waste. And obviously the toilet's getting nice and clean for you. Not. It's the old question, who could live in a place like this? Some of them I've met, some people who live like this have actually, you know, they've still been living in the property when we've had to clear it. And to be honest with you, they are pretty decent, nice people. You'd meet them and they wouldn't actually think they're living in anything wrong. They were just living it and it's part of their life. Some of it is down to drugs, some of it's laziness, some of it's illness. But a lot of people do live like this, more than what you think. We come across it all the time. For Darren and his team, the best that can be said is that it's an opportunity. So at the end of the day, it is true where there's, there's money. To be honest with you, the worse it is, more money we make. Simple as that. And time wasted is money lost. And there's still the smell of success. There's definitely an odour of summer coming up, so I don't know what it is yet. It'll either be rotten food or dead mouse or dead rat or summer. Whatever it is, it's dead. It looks as if the house has been turned upside down. I reckon they've turned their uh, kitchen into their bathroom in one easy step. All sorts in here. Microwave the lot. Next door, Sean puts the boot in. There's no time for niceties. Ready? Yeah. I like it, I like it. Getting it all down in one foul swoop, that's nice. Even the pasta is past its sell-by date. Steve is very partial to a good sandwich, and he knows what he likes. Let's have a look what you got. I've got cornflakes with tomato ketchup. 
That is just yes. disgusting. That's worse than the place we just cleared out. In fact, I've seen it eat some out the place we just cleared out. How on earth is this pucker? What's up with you? The lads have cleared out the rubbish. A lot more work will have to be done.